Across the country, school districts are struggling to find enough teachers to fill vacant positions. And here in Indiana, the situation is no different. To explain what Indiana's teacher shortage looks like and what the state is doing to address it is State Impact Indiana Education reporter Claire McInerney. Thanks, Joe. This panic around a teacher shortage in Indiana comes after a report from the Department of Education showed the number of new licenses issued each year dropped 63 percent between the 2009-2010 school year and the 2013-2014 school year. As you might expect, there are many potential reasons for the drop, and that could make finding a solution more challenging. When Columbus North High School English teacher Ryan Gunterman graduated college 12 years ago, he was sure of what he would do with his professional life, teach. But as his career progressed, Gunterman says the tone changed. State and national policies around accountability and testing meant he and his students were facing more pressure and his priorities in the classroom had to change. Those changes started to wear on him. I'm a big Colts fan. I'm not going to go to see a game in New England and Patriots wearing all my Colts stuff every single day for, as a thing of work because I know I'm going to get harassed and just treated like garbage. You know, that's one thing when it's a sport and entertainment and meaningless. It's another thing when it's your profession and your passion. Gunterman says he often has to choose between being a good husband and father and being a good teacher. He's considered making a career change and hearing that fewer people are going into the profession. This is no surprise. I mean, this is something that I'm actually somewhat surprised hasn't happened earlier. Uh, and I, I knew it was going to get to this point. And just from the simple response toward education and toward educators. But changing demands on teachers is only part of the problem in Indiana. Since 2007, the number of teacher licenses issued to new teachers has dropped dramatically in the state. And less people are entering teacher preparation programs at the same time that more teachers are retiring. It's a perfect storm of circumstances leading to this current so-called shortage, and leaders across the state are trying to figure out how to address it. State Board of Education member Gordon Hendry maintains the issue is pay. He says teacher salaries aren't keeping up with the cost of getting a degree. He's proposing an incentive program for high-achieving high school students to study education when they go to college. They would get four years of tuition-free education at one of our leading education schools and subsequently would enter the teacher's profession for at least four years. So I see this as a way to increase the number of quality teachers in our Hoosier classrooms while also addressing the teacher, teacher shortage issue that's facing Indiana and other states. Hendry says by covering tuition for prospective teachers, the return on investment for a potential teacher becomes more attractive. But he recognizes that only solves the front end of the problem of getting more teachers into the classroom. IU School of Education professor Keith Barton says the job of teaching has to get better if the goal is attracting more people into the profession. People are not going to be so easily fooled that just the offer of some incentive is going to convince them to spend four years studying for a career that's not going to be a good one. But how to make it more attractive is the hard part. Nobody can agree on how to get teachers better pay or require less of them, because a lot of accountability requirements come from the federal government. Gunterman says despite all of these factors, teaching is still his calling. He doesn't discourage young people from entering the profession, but says they should know exactly what the job entails. Because it's so important, it cannot be something that you can be somewhat interested in. It, it needs to be something that you completely commit to, and you're also willing to take in essence, the punishment that comes with it. The legislature will address the issue of attracting and retaining more teachers during a study committee in September. Commissioner for Higher Education Teresa Lubbers has also weighed in on the subject and is taking a detailed look at subjects with a high need for teachers, like science, math, and special education, and how we can encourage more educators to teach in those areas. Thank you very much, Claire.